Raja be with you, lovely lady. Save your breath. I'm through with men, for now. What's wrong with her? It seems like her life spark is frozen. Her name is Salva. No one knows what happened to her. She vanished one day, and when she came back, she was like this. Some say she followed a man in a black robe the night of her disappearance, but people see all kinds of things when it's dark. One morning, they found her sitting here by the well with this curious hole in her forehead. She hasn't spoken a word since. She eats when ordered to and sleeps when sent to bed. But it seems she no longer has a will of her own. Is there any hope for her? As long as the gods in Alberon protect us, there's always hope. But so far, we haven't found a way to heal her. She has a sister, too, Niam. But I haven't seen her in a long time. If you want to help, talk to Jolden, the healer. He knows Niam better than I do. Nobody knows anything about this affliction. Only this much. The Half-Elf isn't the only victim. The Hesindi Temple in Mengbilla is dealing with several others with the same symptoms. Mengbilla? Do the victims have anything in common? Hmm, good question. They're all young, between 15 and 30 years old, I'd say. And they were reportedly all good people before the curse hit them. Good people? Yes, they had good hearts, all very popular, faithful servants of their gods. Ah, it seems this curse only afflicts the best. You're not from around here. Thank you, Cinder, for that. I am Telemachy, an explorer from Mingbilla. So what are you doing in this swamp hole? Research. I'm examining an old Hesinda shrine in Dendrim Forest. What's so special about the shrine? Have you heard about the Order of Ulic? The amusing sect of women? The Ulics weren't all women, but they banished the male gods from their pantheon. Why? Because they considered them the reason for chaos. A visionary concept, if you ask me. Can we assist you in your research? You want to help me solve the mystery surrounding the Ulics? By all means. I would reward you handsomely. The Order of Ulic erected a shrine for each of the six goddesses here in the south. Find all six shrines. Once you found them, come see me in Benevilla. The dwarf needs sunlight, and the southerner needs more exercise. What else can I do for you? Sunlight? We're looking for Niam. Niam? What do you want from her? Uh, we're old friends. She has many old friends. Who's she hiding from? Her enemies are looking for her because they claim she's a poacher. Her friends seek her because she owes them money. Which group do you belong to? We need someone reliable who can lead us through the wilderness. Without asking any questions. Are you sure you're looking for Nyan? She can usually be found somewhere in Dendrim Forest. Let's hope she hasn't lost all of her senses. She'd better go back and take care of her sister. To whom does she owe money? The blacksmith, the beadle, everybody else in Mikram, two dwarves in Droll's Ash, and probably a lot more people in Droll. Why would a huntress need that much money? She has expensive tastes. What do you think happened to this girl? Salva? What a pity. She was the sunshine of our village. Always cheerful. Very unlike her rotten sister. If you ask me, there's dark magic behind all this. Why are you looking at me? We can find Niam in Dendrim Forest, then. West of here. But be careful. Rumor has it that some goblins are roaming around there. And worse. The gods be with you. Did you find the staff? Is this your Mascaron staff? Oh, wonderful. Fantastic. At last. You've saved my life. Unfortunately, we came too late to save your cousin's life. Oh, my. Oh, yes. Tragic. That's tragic. Ooh, what can I say? Oh, this is a black day indeed. But here, take these ducats as compensation for your efforts. This Master Yurias, has he been in town for long? He's a respectable citizen of Wobran. And yet few people here have heard of him. Eh, uh, yes, 
uh, well, uh, he's a bit of a recluse. Gout. Old age. Welcome. I knew I could count on you. I'm never mistaken. Nice arsenal. Is that Gladiator's armor? From Alanfa and Mengbilla. Pal and I like all sorts of games. Just like you, I hope. What can we win? Money, treasure, glory or death. But most importantly, very valuable experience. Are you ready? First, I want to know more about this game. It's a game of life and death. That much we will admit. But we can't tell you any more than that. We can hardly wait. Bal, please be so kind and give the new players a little sleeping draft. A harmless soporific. Don't worry, it tastes sweet. Excellent. See you later. Oh, you're awake, finally. Because you kicked me. Where are we? Looks like a crypt of some kind, and the only door is locked. At least they gave us some fancy shirts. They smell of slaughtered pigs. Water. They're positively spoiling us. It says something on the carafe. Have faith. You're not gonna drink that. My throat is parched. The biggin's about to grow pale and keel over. What do you know? There's a key at the bottom. Risen from the dead. Congratulations. You've come farther than most. Ready for the last round? One on one? Or do you give up, only to leave empty-handed? Cursed be the day you invented this game. A shrine to Hesindi, the goddess of wisdom. Of which she should have granted you a lot more. There's a word written on her forehead. Where? On her forehead. No, the word is where. Can't any of you read? Where? What's that supposed to tell us? Dwarf. Wait, I know a dwarf joke. Why don't you keep it to yourself? We're looking for Niam the Huntress. You'll get the money tomorrow, first thing in the morning, I promise. Come on, the ground is very soft. We need to know what happened to your sister. If you stop searching, your problems will just dissolve, like mine did. Are you all right? Yes, I learned something. I can just lock out the world. I'm on a journey. I see. No use. Too much elf in her blood. Actually, it's too much dreamweed. Terrific. Will she recover? Not before tomorrow night, I'm afraid. A trollcap concoction might hasten the process. With a little luck, we might even find some of those mushrooms here in the woods. Let's just pick the blasted mushrooms. I've had it with these woods. Niam? Here, drink this. I'm not thirsty. I'll never be thirsty again. It'll make your mouth less dry. Oh, gimme. Ooh, this stuff tastes terrible. Oh, and it makes me sleepy. She's been in that state for a month now, my little sister. What an ugly world. Why does the worst always happen to us? I should have been there to protect her. Do you know what happened to your sister? No, not really. She just disappeared one day, and just as suddenly she came back, with that hole. But a week ago, I discovered a stranger in the night. He was bent over Salva, opened her mouth. When he noticed me, he disappeared. I followed him. But I guess I wasn't... quite myself. The healer says you're a poacher. My gut says you're not much better. Dreamweed, that doesn't come cheap. A grandee can afford it, but a huntress? A grandee? What's that? What's a grandee? Excuse me, are you serious? What did the stranger look like? Sturdily built, bald, and his face was pockmarked. Yeah, sounds familiar. Lysander's pet torturer. You know him? 
We have a score to settle with him. I tracked him down all the way to a country house southeast of here, but it's guarded around the clock. Can you take us there? Let's go. So, all three of you were wrongfully imprisoned, but for different reasons. You make it sound like we invented the tale. Never mind. Here we are. This is where your torturer lives. Let's get his head. Remember to give that head enough time to sing. I want answers. You and me both. A goblin? You set me free? Yes? Yes? Get out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, here. Take, 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 take a present. It's a bone. Oh, joy. Not bone. Is key to greatest treasure in all of Sulak Princedom. Yeah, fine. Get lost, stinker. His key! Right, Baldy. Now you're going to talk. All right. What do you want? Why did you torture me? Ask your friend Lysander. He only asked me to squeeze a name out of you. What did you do to my sister? We tried to heal her. Heal her? Of what? She wasn't sick. Unlike you, judging from your face. Watch out who you associate with, point years. Your enemies might be closer than you think. What bloody name are you talking about? If I knew that, I wouldn't have needed to torture you. I don't know anything about a name. So, the whole affair is based on an ugly misunderstanding, and we should make up over a batch of Grangorian treacle tarts. Where's Lysander? In Mengbilla. What's he doing there? I don't know. Ask the gods about the name, then. A book? Can any of you read? The Thirteen Encomia of the Nameless One. Would you believe it? We stepped into a rat's nest. Rat's nest? The Nameless One is the banished god, the source of all evil in the world. The rats serve him. Or so it says, listen to this. And his age will come, his eyes will unite the world, his hand will once more raise it from the ruins. The lambs are rising against the wolves, and his whispered word fills the heart of the pious and the blessed. Quiet! The golden dragon speaks from that book. But if the torturer is a follower of the Nameless One... What does that say about your friend Lysander? What's this crimson liquid? Smells of laurel leaves. I don't smell a thing. What's the note on the bottle say? M is making progress. A sample of the new shipments. L. Perhaps a new love potion. Or a poison. What now? I haven't really learned anything at all. We're travelling on to Mengbilla, Niam. I'm sorry we weren't able to help your sister. You want to find this Lysander, right? I'll come with you. Maybe I can find out what they did to her. I owe her that much. Are you headed to Chaliba? Perhaps you could do me a favor. I doubt it. Nothing big. Just give my regards to my rotten brother. He's easy to find. The richest merchant in Chaliba, married to the most beautiful woman in town. Does he sell flying carpets too? Then we'll have the makings of a fairy tale. Why don't you go and greet your brother yourself? Chaliba is far from here, and my shoes are full of holes. And what's in it for us? A flying carpet, perhaps? All right, what's his name? Tell Sereno his brother Amaris says hello. Why, it's so somber. Everyone thinks the world is going to come around. I don't believe it. It's always the same. Gods are angry. I don't believe it. They say the swamps are haunted. I don't believe it. Uh, can you spare a coin? My ferret's sick. Uh, my ferret will be so grateful. Uh, uh, I'll tell you something else. I once had a pig. His name was Frankel. And if you come across Frankel, don't take him to the cemetery. He really likes to dig. You know. <laughs> Please, let's leave. Come on! Fex with you. How can I help you? In Angros's name, this biggin looks exactly like the other biggin. You're Sereno, I presume? Yes. 
Why do you ask? Your brother Onaris sends his regards. Onaris? How? What's wrong? The brigand's getting mighty pale. Your being here is a death threat. My evil twin brother Onaris wants to kill me. Why would your brother want you dead? He's jealous of my successful business and my wife. I was lucky he wasn't. That's why he hates me. He was banished from the Principality because he wanted to kill me and take Celia away. Now it's him or me. A fine example of brotherly love. Can we help you in any way? Perhaps. I'd like to suggest a deal. I saw your wanted posters. You take care of my brother and I... Well, I won't tell anyone that you've been here. We recommend that you don't do that anyway, friend. And a book. A magic book. A rare magic book. I got the book from someone who owed me money. Wouldn't know what to do with it myself, but it may be of value to you. Now you've got my attention. You want us to do away with your brother? Your own brother? Shocking, I know. My own twin. But Celia isn't safe as long as he lives. Sometimes, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures, right? We'll take care of it. Please don't let my brother suffer. He wears a pendant that he never removes. Bring it to me as proof of his death. The gods be with you. Did you give him my regards? Let me guess. He wants me to die again. Again? It's a coin with two heads. I am he, and he is I. You what? I am Sereno. My brother is Anaris. We're twins. He got jealous. He envied my prosperous business and my wife, so he took them. Perhaps you'd like to see justice done. Let me guess. You want us to kill him. How did your brother manage to do all that? I was ambushed by my brother's hired thugs. They didn't kill me, obviously. But they took my ring. My wedding ring. Which my brother is now wearing on his finger. And my wife didn't recognize him. That's the most painful part. How do we know who's telling the truth? You want proof? I don't have any. But if you want to be sure, ask the robbers who ambushed me what their orders were. They dwell in the woods not far from here. We should first find out who's telling the truth. Of course. On the other hand, that book Sereno promised us sounds interesting. Onaris. Sereno is his brother. Yes. I say let's do away with Onaris. No, you mean Sereno. Uh, yes, the tramp. Are you here about our palace? It's not for sale. Palace? What palace? Looks like we've found the robbers. What an ugly word. We don't want to buy anything. We need information. Information is free. What palace? Did a man named Onaris give you the order to kill the merchant Sereno? Yes. I see. That's it? Nothing else? No. What bloody palace? You're rather nosy, little runt. Runt? Draw your weapon, biggin. Oh. My brother is dead. If that's true, then may Boron have mercy on us. How are you planning to get across the border anyway? I'm sure our charming guide knows a way. Well, since the pestilence rose up around Dronadet, the only usable path is the Log Road, past the fortress of Morbal. Do you think we can just slink past there unseen? Take us to Morbal, then we'll see. Farewell, little sister. I'll find a remedy. Somewhere. A road, finally. Rotten lizards! What's going on there? Dragon worshippers. Maybe we shouldn't talk to this woman. Damn it all! May fear and freeze those toad skins and turn them into ice! My men, my horses! Who are you? Ralia Caraliere, commander of Morbal. Pleased to meet you. Why did the Achas attack you? Blast if I know! Something must have enraged them and turned them against us. 
They want to prepare the ground for the Golden Dragon. I was in my summer residence when news of their attack on Morbal arrived. Morbal is under attack? By an overwhelming force of those scaly abominations. Fine, let's get moving. Wait. You're an odd crowd. What are you up to? We're on our way to Mengbilla. Mengbilla? That prior's forsaken place? <laughs> You'd better think twice. As long as the Ahas are besieging Morbal, it's impossible to cross the border. Right. And now, we're leaving. Just a moment. Haven't we met before, Dwarf? I, I wouldn't know. Human females all look the same to me. <laughs> I remember now. The arsonist. <laughs> that was a truly memorable escape. What a feat on such short legs. Is that why you're traveling south? You're wanted by the law, right? Still, you saved me from the lizards. Fight the vermin for me in Morbal, and I'll let you cross the border. You have my word. There you are, good! The scaled ones are preparing their onslaught, and we're seriously short of sword arms. What are your orders? You look shabby. Go see Marmot, my armorer, and have him fit you out. Then come back to me and do what I tell you. How many dragon worshippers do we have at the gates? I don't know. None of my scouts came back. We're blind and deaf out there. And how many are we? Not enough. My lizard hunters have been decimated. Why are the lizards so furious? How would I know? Their interpreters do nothing but hiss. Makes it difficult to negotiate. Who's the leader of the lizards? A shaman, or a crystal mage, a priest, something like that. <laughs> we will lop off the snake's head. That will scare him stiff. Cor be with you. My, my. If it isn't our arsonist. I regret nothing. The scaly lizard served good beer. I regret nothing. Why did you call him an arsonist? He set the scaly lizard on fire. Our best Harvin. He was going to be whipped and branded for it, but he managed to flee. Such disturbing revelations. You disappoint me, Norim. An Angrishaw will not be branded. The name of the tavern was an insult to the Angrishim. Do you often have problems with the Achaz? Achaz, Mengbillins, Novadis. It's not the first battle for this stronghold, and it won't be the last. But we've never seen such a large horde of lizard folk. We need to equip ourselves for the fight. Damn right. Take what you need, but no more than that. Such lucky coincidence. I knew my doves would flock to the border like moths to the light. Bailiff Laska. How sweet of you to bid us farewell. These people are murderers, Ralia. They belong to me. It's always murderers with you, Laska. Seems like there are only murderers left in this country. But I need swords, so keep away from them. That's an order. An order? As you wish, Commander. Which do you prefer, cats or dogs? Cats? Is that so? Cats can catch little doves and thieving mice, an honorable trait. But they obey no rules. Dogs, on the other hand, they live to obey. You can train them to attack and set them on little doves in flight. And when they've done away with the little doves, all they ask of you is to be petted for a bit. Why don't you tell us something about ponies? Oh, I hope you'll survive. I hate it when the chase ends early. What is it? What are your orders? The Ahas are preparing for an attack. Go to the outer ring and hold the breach, and see to it that the fishermen make it into town unscathed. Cor be with you. Is it over? Over? It's just getting interesting. The Ahas are placing their accursed magic crystals all around town. Their shaman appears to be preparing some kind of ritual. My motherly heart would be greatly relieved if somebody could smash the crystals. And the shaman too while they're at it. Which way? One of the crystals was spotted directly in front of the gate, and another on the lake side of the city. Crawl through the sewers if you have to. Cor be with you. Well fought. I'd love to have you on my lizard hunter squad. But it seems you're a bunch of criminals. Now you're hurting my feelings. You have one day to get across the border. Nobody saw you here. This gold should tide you over for a while. 
Unless your hot-blooded southerner spends it all in a whorehouse. Here comes the bloodhound again. All set to bay. Defending Morbal against the scaly hordes was a truly honorable deed. But that doesn't change the fact that you broke the law. None of you will leave this country. But here's a comforting thought. I'm sure the quagmire in the swamps will welcome you with open arms. He's right. The swamps might help us. To the nether hells with you! <laughs> Mangbilla, here we come! They took everything away from us. But now, we will win it all back! You always have been lazy, and I can see you still are. But now you are lazy with an education, and I would be a fool not to make use of you. As you wish, Your Grace. Call me Urias. Eleanor has a soft spot for you. I fail to see why. She wants to have you around more often, and how could I say no to her doe eyes? But don't think you can malinger in the garden all day. I live to work. I doubt that. Anyway, my excavations are proceeding apace. Unfortunately, they attract all sorts of curious riffraff. You will help guard the excavation site. I think you'll like it. You get to sit around a lot. Talk to Aurelia, she'll tell you what you need to know. And what are you excavating? The past. And the future. Sounds ambitious. <laughs> Welcome home, lad. Hey, Lazybones. Want to help me save the world? What for? The world is fine. The world is a plate full of maggot-ridden meat. Have a walk through town. Half of the people are unhappy. And the other half are happy. And that's enough for you? Everyone is either happy or unhappy. It's in our nature. Take everything away from a happy man and he's still cheerful. But you can throw money, wine and food at an unhappy man all you want. He still complains. You can't change it. You really are the laziest. Why so grumpy? Oh, Urias won't take me with him. He's left me here to rot. Because you're moody and impulsive. Who wants someone like that around? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of deadly place is it this time? The Rain Mountains. The forest people guard many secrets. And you know how much our Count loves secrets. Rejoice. No mosquitoes and jungle tigers for you. The Rain Mountains are the last place I want to go. What are we digging for? For truth. Do you think the Count tells me anything? In stories, bad things always happen when somebody starts digging. I guess it's the same with this story, too. Wait! I want to show you something. You've become pretty good, but you should use such powers carefully. Oh, don't be such a spoil sport. I... What was that? Come on. I wonder what he hoped to find here. I'll go get Urias.